Sol Ring is undisputably the most powerful card in Commander, sure to define the upcoming power level system. Or not, but the point of its power still stands. But just how good is Sol Ring? Is there ever an excuse not to run it? I saw this tweet a couple of weeks ago and it inspired me to take a look at my own decks on Moxfield and I saw that a full 5 decks don't run Sol Ring. In terms of power level, can this possibly be correct or are there other reasons they aren't in the 99? Well, first is Maelstrom Wanderer, and it's clear to see why I have a companion Karuga. I've gone over why I run Karuga a literal half dozen times on my channel at this point, but crucially it frees up so much deck building room. Every main deck card either ramps or wins the game, as I don't need to worry about running out of cards with Karuga. Solving is a card you draw once every few games, but Karuga is always there, ready and waiting, and that's at Solving's cost. Whether this is more powerful I think may depend on your pod. Maelstrom in a pure battlecruiser pod of zero interaction or a CDH light meta with common turn 3 or 4 wins, the Wicked Maelstrom Wanderer probably ends up better. But in every pod I've ever played in, being able to play Karuga to draw 5 cards and maybe getting Maelstrom out of turn later is worth the cost. So this is a clear loss for solving in my case, if for no other reason then Maelstrom Karuga is its own deck category, and choosing any commander but the best is always about trying to make your chosen combination as good as it can be. Second is a much more relevant question, my Carol Metro deck which can play Solving but I don't. I actively think Solving would make this deck worse when we play out the turns. Solving is undeniably the best ramp out there, sorry Mana Crypt, but what does it achieve? If we cast it turn 1, we can still only cast Carol Metro on turn 3. We may also get a spare mana to use for an immediate ramp from her ability, or get to deploy a few 2 dots rather than 1, but it's not any faster than turn 1 Mana Dork, turn 2 Mana Dork, cast her turn 3. But for the slightly quicker to start, we lose out on a lot of synergy. Every creature in this deck becomes a land with Karametra out, meaning Lanowar Elves does a pretty good solving impression for most of the game, all while aiding our other synergies such as drawing a card or triggering landfall. Being a creature is crucial to this deck, and we only play non-creature spells if they give us a unique effect. Ramp is just very replaceable. In addition, with all the cards that let me cast from the top of my deck if it's a creature, all of these ramp spells hit, but solving is just a brick. This deck can go off with these and a solving could literally turn a win into a loss for a marginal benefit. So for Karometra, solving would make the deck weaker in my eyes. Next up Jihada, one I don't have a video on yet. I have a rule when it comes to solving that has defined the next three choices. If I can't use the two colourless mana for the commander, I don't include it. As otherwise we aren't getting our commander out any sooner from solving than a signet, talisman or otherwise. In Dehada, this is much more relevant as I have to choose to include as many legendary lands as possible and that means most are mono-coloured. I need my artifact ramp spells to make up for my inconsistent mana base and solving doesn't help here. In addition, once Dehada is out, we make so many treasures we don't need surplus mana as often anyway. However, given the high mana cost legends I do play, Solving may actually still be a power level boost here. Unless playing CEDH, power level is relative. In Commander we mostly build decks going under this restriction, I want to build the best deck. This mostly boils down to your commander of choice, but for Jahada, I specifically want to play as many legends as possible. The deck may be better with a normal mana base and a Sol Ring, but given my restriction, I'm not sure if this Sol Ring is for better or not. Not having the coloured mana from say, Abora Signet, could just be the game losing. Nasi, I think, is where it becomes clear the choice isn't for power level reasons. Solving meets the rule of being unable to ramp my commander, and again, I have a theme of almost entirely enchantments at two thirds of a deck. All these sagas have big mana costs, so solving can really help, but the key difference here is there's basically no enchantment land, so I have a normal mana base. Solving's colourless generating mana is of much less of a downside here than in Dehada. Unlike the previous three decks, on power level metrics, this deck should play Solring. But thematically, the much worse font of fertility is better suited for the deck as it can draw a card with the commander and play with all the enchantress cards and still ramp us. Solving fits few themes beyond artifact matters or trinket mage title, so the best reason to skip out on its inclusion is you get an extra slot in your deck for synergy, which can often be more fun, but not, in this case, more powerful. Finally is Joda, a 5 colour deck that is heavily reliant on its commander. Solving really can't help cast this at all, well, the first time around. The deck needs Joda, so he's going to be a target for removal, and then Solving can help cast the second or third time, while beforehand it can speed up casting your other ramp spells. This deck should play Solving, but among all the other mana rocks to help with the colours of the deck, it's very tight on slots. 
For power level, removing a literal random card would make the deck stronger almost guaranteed. But the thought of that one game where I have a solving on board and not the right mana for my commander, it scares me. Not a good enough reason, but the one that sticks for this deck, and it isn't power level. And actually finally, the secret sixth. My Splinter Twin deck runs Solving and it's great, but possibly too great. See, the saving grace for Solving is if you're the only one to cast it on turn one, the table can quickly turn against you to balance the scales, or so the logic goes. But with Zergo, this often isn't the case. It has Hexproof, so only blue can interact if you sniff removal by bouncing it back to your hand. It can come out on turn two of a signet and start drawing cards, and the kicker here is the deck is heavily interaction based, so I can draw defense or offense as I need selected from these draws. I have won every game I've got a turn one solving out with this deck, and none have been especially fun. Without solving, my heavily interaction focused deck feels fairly matched trying to control the table while working towards a win. With two extra mana and two extra turns of card draw, it just hasn't felt good. So in the antithesis of this video, I may soon cut solving from this deck explicitly for power level reasons. So the games I play can more often feel like games for all and not just for me. And that's my five of a sneaky extra. What do you think? Should all of these decks be running solving anyway in the spirit of Commander? Have you been cutting it too, or have I inspired you to think? I'd love to hear, so let me know below. Thanks for watching.